Welcome to webuyandemotorcaravan.com. Welcome to the Mobile Vetter K Silver. Now this is the K Yacht's little brother. There's about £8,000 worth of difference on these two. Is it worth pushing the boat out for the yacht? Let's find out. My name's Pete and let me take you around this Italian beauty. 7.4 metres long which is about six centimetres shy of the K yacht. So there's your first point of difference. Second point of difference, these wing mirrors are grey, not white. Does it make a difference? In my opinion, probably not. This particular one is on a 69, it does have gas low there, but they are tiny little yellow gas canisters. And there's a reason behind that, because this K Silver, has got an awful lot of storage space. You've got lots of great things going on. Things like the gas low, you've got your external TV and 240 volt there. Let's not break it. You've got these weird little latches where you just have to double finger them. And out she pops. Look at that. And then the garage is actually a really nice, useful size. This is the only piece of wood you're gonna find in it because it is wood free on the build. However, we are gonna do a bit of a test. I'll leave this wood out in the rain, out of the elements, because this is bone dry at the minute, and we'll show you how that's gonna work later. Now, good size garage, Truma heating there, so if you do need to get to it, by all means, that's, and you can get into the garage both ways. One part of the difference between the K Yacht and the K Silver, the K Silver is still built on the Continental style. So you've got the habitation door on the offside and you've got the, hello, it's got good struts on it, hasn't it, this? You've got the habitation door on the offside and you've got the driver's door on the near side. Now the K Yachts are now coming out as a UK spec. So it's a complete, mirror image of it. Another point, you don't have any parking sensors or reverse cameras on the K Silver. We do have a twin reverse camera up there though, and that is an aftermarket fit on this one. So if you do want any form of assistance whilst going backwards, whilst you bring this beautiful bum backwards, you do need to get a reverse camera put on. So you can, I'm still not fully sure about these, they seem a bit more design over function. You can get into the garage both sides, so that is very useful. Uh, like I say, it is built on the European style, but you've got your electric hookup, you've got your water infill, uh, and obviously your diesel infill there, and the habitation door there. Now this is built on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 130 brake. Big thing here, it is 3.5 tonne maximum. And that is a big thing, because one, you could drive it on anyone's license. So you can have this beautiful A-Class driven on anyone's license. Two, your payload is pretty much Shane and I sat in this. 340 kilograms. It is tiny. Tiny payload. You can pay to get it upweighted, but then you're restricting your license. So do be careful on that one. If you like your meals, probably go for a diet before you buy the cake silver. Um, habitation door this side, so do be careful because it's just nicely, and they're good sized doors. Come here, actually. We've got Italian air suspension going on down here as well. Look at that. Italia, Italia. Did I mention that was half, I'm a half blood, I'm half Italian, I've never mentioned that. My mother's from just south of Napoli. Might be a reason why I love these so much. From the front though, you wouldn't know if this is a K Yacht or a K Silver other than those wing mirrors. There are a few differences inside. Let me take you in and we'll have a look. So, being in any mobile Vetta is a beautiful place to be, even if it is the entry level K Silver. Entry level, you're still gonna be spending north of 65,000 pounds on this one. Beautiful leather, love the embroidery and the stitching going on in there. Love all the sort of way it's put together, mainly. I'll come to that in a bit. But there is an eight grand difference, and part of that eight grand difference is 
down to what musical taste you've got because right here in the cab if you want to listen to your specific radio stations you're going to have to do it through your bluetooth this does have a radio it does have bluetooth it doesn't have dab radio it doesn't have sat nav it doesn't have climate control it's got aircon though which is useful it does have cruise control it doesn't even have a cd player now i think it's only really shane's mom who's the only fan of the channel that has cd players anyway and uses cds but again for this sort of money you maybe would expect that but that's where the changes are that's where that price difference is if you've watched any of the other mobile vetter videos you'll notice that they're beautiful in design but they just need a couple of screws every day <laughs> every now and then if they're just a bit yeah that's solid that bit needs a bit of filling in and they're really nicely put together but the carbon fiber bits just need that extra little bit of screwing down in my opinion but that is just my opinion what you do have above me is a this beautiful lighting which i think is just wonderful in any mobile vetta the lighting is absolutely pristine but this is a big 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 part of oh that was the bed not me uh this is a big 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 part of the eight grand difference have i mentioned there's an eight grand difference between these and the k yacht manual pull down or do you push the boat out and get a little button to do the electrics? You've got Roman style blinds here. They're Italian. They're going to be Roman style blinds. And all of those finishes on this four berth, four belt, entry level A class at north of £65,000. All of these finishes are there or thereabouts. Uh, what? It's a small bit. It's a small bit. And I need to show you because it's bugged me. The control panel. I fell in love with the K Yacht control panel. It was absolutely beautiful. It was like an iPad. It was like, yes. And that doesn't have it. But it just pushes buttons and turns the lights on and off. It's all right. Got trim heat in. Put your own coat hook on. So I'll show you the rest. Entering the kitchen, and if it ain't bust, you don't fix it. L-shaped kitchen, big enough to hold a big boy like me. Uh, one of the other things that we really found, three ring gas burner there. Uh, on the other side, you do have the Dometic oven and the fridge freezer as well. Again, be careful, 340 gram payload, empty your water tanks, empty your waste tanks before you drive away. In fact, coming into that, in that 340 gram payload, they do actually mention that it's included 50 kilograms worth of fresh water, whereas most people calculate it on 20 kilograms worth of fresh water. So you probably have got an extra 30 kilograms to play with. However, take it on the 340 just in case or find your nearest Weybridge. One other bit that we found that is part of that difference between the K Yacht and, and the K Silver. There's a little latch underneath the K Yacht. You push it in the open, and it's lovely. It's just a little latch. See, latch. It's like being in an airplane. Anyway, we've got two exits. One there, one there. Shall I show you the rest? The train arriving at platform three. Ta -da. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of these Virgin train reveal doors. Oh, Virgin trains don't go anymore. Do they? It's East Coast main line. Who is it now? Virgin trains, let me know. Let me know who it's, anyway, I've digress. A bathroom. It's a mobile vetter, it's got a bathroom. It's a nice size, you can fit them in there. You've got a sort of space behind the mirror. You've got this that does that and you can put things in and you can put your toothbrush in there. It's a bathroom. That's all I could pretty much say about that. I do like the shower as well. So bathroom to my left, your right, shower the other way. 
again you've got this little wee flippy catch there that opens it but it is a good size and you've got good lighting in there like i said i'm not the smallest of chaps but it's all right in here you can have a nice shower in this one you do feel a bit like no likey no lighty in here So the standard K-Silver i56 has got an island bed and that's where the big point of the difference is because that's, that island bed is a manual raise up, raise down rather than electric push button raise up, raise down for the garage so you get more garage space or less garage space. This particular one is twins above a garage. I've got twins. You don't want them above a garage. Quite frankly, at times, the bog off deal is hard work. Anyway, less about me, more about this bed, because it's absolutely, when you get this nice infill in here, huge. Look at the size of that. And you've got the nice mobile vet of detailing at the back. Yes, you've still got the cabin bits here. So again, you've got more storage space personally. If I was to buy one of these, I would pay for the upgrade. I think that upgrade is necessary if you've got the right license. Uh, because you've got a lot of storage space. The garage is big. Lots of storage space around the actual motorhome. And the 340 kilograms, maybe is a touch more if you've got empty fresh water. Then yeah, I definitely, definitely would be paying for that upgrade. I also like the fat. Isn't that pretty? It's lovely, isn't it? And that's what the K Yacht, K Silver, and every mobile Vetter really gives you. It gives you style, it gives you a bit of flair. And with it being the K Silver, it really gives those low profiles a run for the money. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.